In this video, we'll see how to create predefined advisory notes, work descriptions, symptoms, and work types. We'll also create job status codes to help you keep track of where a vehicle is in the repair cycle. First, we need to go to Setup. Then, click Codes and Advisory Notes. Advisory notes are used to inform your customers of additional work that needs to be completed either at the time of the current service or upcoming work such as maintenance service, brake jobs, timing belts, etc. This is also a convenient place to put warranty information for work performed such as brakes, water pumps, timing belts, etc. Next, we'll click on Work Descriptions. Work descriptions allow you to create descriptions of commonly performed work, which makes it quick and easy to add them to an estimate or repair order. Several have been created for you. You can add, edit, or delete them as you see fit. We'll see how to do that next. Let's go to Symptoms. Symptoms, like work descriptions, allow you to create descriptions of common customer complaints such as noisy brakes, hard or no start, leaking fluids, or any common symptom that you find yourself using on a regular basis. Advisory notes, work descriptions, and symptoms are all created in the same way. It's as simple as defining a code, adding a summary of the item, and finally, a detailed description. Since we're here, we'll create a new symptom for noisy brakes. First, we enter a code. We'll use 001. Next, a summary. Noisy brakes seems to make the most sense here, don't you think? Now, we'll enter a complete description of the customer complaint. Let's enter customer states, brakes grind or squeal when applied. This area can be as detailed or as simple as you want. Once the fields are complete, click Update to add it to your list. Next, we'll look at work types. Work types can be set up with a color and description so that at a glance, you can easily see the type of work that is required for an estimate or repair order. For example, you could have one for lube bowl and filter jobs, brake jobs, exhaust jobs, etc. We'll create one for brake jobs. Start by entering a code, which can be any combination of four letters or numbers. Next, we enter a description of the work type. Then, select a color from the dropdown. Now, click Update to add it to your list. Finally, let's look at status codes. Status codes offer a quick way to visually identify where an estimate or a repair order is in the process. Using status codes in conjunction with the Work in Progress screen in the scheduler will help increase productivity and improve shop workflow. There are two ways to put status codes into your database. You can manually create statuses for estimates and repair orders, or you can load a list of default codes. To create a status code manually, select the category, Estimate or Repair Order. Next, create a code. This can be up to four numbers. Now, enter a description. And choose a Work in Progress category if you plan to use that feature. For more information on setting up and using the Work in Progress screen, click the link. You can color code each status to make it quick to visually identify. Once you have everything entered, click Update to add it to your list. If you choose to load the defaults, any status codes that you have previously created manually will be replaced with the new ones. This will also remove any statuses from existing estimates and repair orders still active in your system. Type Yes in the field to confirm you want to replace your existing status codes with the default codes. Type it in all capitals as it is case sensitive. Once the defaults are loaded, you can edit or delete them as well as manually add more of your own.